Hello everyone, welcome to another video. In this video, I'm going to give you the solution for Postbook CTF from Hacker 101 CTF. There are total seven flags in this particular CTF and we have four points for each flag. I have already started this CTF machine and let's view the hints. Let me give you a look at the CTF application. So this is the Postbook application. So for the first flag, we have a hint which says that the person with username user has a very easy password. Okay, so let's try to sign in. We know the username is user. And the password is, it's very easy. So let's try very easy first. Okay, so this password is wrong. What if the password is password itself? Bingo. So we have got a first flag. Now for the second flag, the hint says, try viewing your own post and then see if you can change the ID. This is my post. ID is equal to 3. What if I change the ID is equal to 2? Okay, we have got a second flag. Now proceeding towards the third flag, the hint says you should definitely use inspect element on form when creating a new post. Okay, let's go back to home. This is my form for creating a new post do inspect element over here text area we have this input checkbooks private for my own eyes only okay we have two hidden fields over here so first one says home and second one says user id is equal to two okay okay probably we can create a post for another user by changing this ID. For this, I will have to create another user. I'll just sign out and sign up again. Okay, my name is and password is password. Let's log in with this new user. Okay. Let's do inspect element again over here. Okay, so this time we are getting ID. Uh, this value is three. Now let's change this value to two. And my post will be We have got a third flag. For the fourth flag, that is flag three, the hint says simply 189 into five, but this doesn't make much sense. So first, let's do this 189 into five. 189 into five is 945, but what about 945? Let's post 945. Now let's edit it and change the title to 945. No, nothing happened. So this is what I actually tried. All these things which I'm showing to you are all the things which I tried before reaching the solution. Now after doing all these things, I just went back to home and try to view this post, this first post. And then I noticed that ID is equal to three over here. Then what if I change the value of ID to 945? And bingo, here I got my fourth flag. Okay. For the fifth flag, 
The hint says you can edit your own posts. What about someone else's? Okay. Let's go back to home. So this is the post from user and I have and this is my own post. The, you, the ID for this post is ID is equal to 3. Let's go back and let's try to edit my own post. The ID for my post is ID is equal to 5. I will simply change the value of ID to 3 and write I have edited your post let's save it let's go back to home but nothing happened over here then I again went to this edit and observe that this portion which says page is equal to edit.php and id is equal to 5. I went back, opened this post and observed that this particular portion. I simply decided to, what if I change this to this edit.php? and edit it. I just made the edit over here and save this post and here I got the flag. So we have got the fifth flag as well. Now for the sixth flag the hint says cookie allows you to stay signed in. Can you figure out how they work so you can sign in to user with id is equal to 1. For this, I'll just go back to my home page and I do the inspect element. I go to storage. Here I can see that cookie is stored over here. The name of the cookie is ID and value is this particular value, this particular thing. So I just copied this and simply went to md5 decrypt online paste it over here so we can see the decrypted value of that md5 hash is 3 so now we need to log in as user 1 this is what this particular hint says for this we need to encrypt 1 as md5 md5 encrypt and we need to encrypt one so this is our hash for one user id one i'll go back to this page and change this value to one so now we have changed the id and my id is the md5 value of one let's just see what happens now okay, I'm going to my profile but nothing seems to be working over here now I create another post and as soon as I did that I observed that this particular flag which I was getting was actually my my sixth flag and the flag number seven says that deleting a post seems to take an id that is not a number can you find out what it is so let's go back to this application and try to delete a post which i have created right now i'm logged in as admin so i'll just open my verb suit turn interceptor on and delete this post so for id we again have a hash 
let's try to see if it is also a md5 hash So yes, it's a MD5 hash and it is a hash for 6. Okay, let's just, just go back over here. So that means this particular post has ID 6. Let's try see if we edit it, what is the value that we are getting? Yes, we are getting ID is equal to 6. Now what if I want to delete someone else's post? For example, this user's post or for example, this user's post. The ID is equal to 3. Now I need to encrypt 3 to get the MD5 hash for it. After getting the MD5 hash for 3, let's copy it and click on delete for my own post and I will capture the request. So this is the request. I'll paste my hash over here. Now this particular ID is replaced with ID is equal to 3. Let's forward it. Let's turn off the interceptor. And we have got a last flag as well. This is the seventh flag. So with this, we have captured all the flags. If you have reached till here, that means you found this video interesting. So do hit that like button. And if you want more such content, then please subscribe to my channel. I will be back with another video. Till then, goodbye and happy learning.